What's going on, smart people? I have an interesting problem to have right now. And if you're new to physics, and more specifically new to the coding side of physics, you might not know how big of a problem this is or how frequent a problem it is. My code works, but it doesn't work fast enough. <laughs> I have a code that calculates these things called region ratios. And in a QCD context, that tells you what factorization theorems you can use. That's not what I'm going to go into here, but let me show you at least what it's doing. Not the code, but what it's doing. You see, I have these plots, these plots that plot the region ratios, and I have a whole bunch of sliding variables, so I don't have to ask you what you want these variables, variables to be. You can change them for yourself, and what it's supposed to do is update these plots as soon as you change them, which it does do, except for it takes a really, really long time. Let's see how long it takes before you see any difference. You see it shifted a little bit there. That took a very long time. Let me explain the reason for it being so slow, but this is not a coding video, so for the people who aren't very coding savvy, there are these things called libraries where people have written all this code to have all these functions in it so that people like me can then just use their functions. And for graphing stuff, the most common one to use is called matplotlib. That's the standard library. But I'm plotting in the screen. Nothing's popping out. And when you do that with an interactive plot in Python, what it does is it creates just a regular PNG, a static PNG. And uh, it's sending that to this screen, to this local host, and it's doing that every single time I update, every time I turn that slider. And that's why this is being so slow. So what I'm having to do now is use a completely different plotting library that I'm not used to at all called Holoview and Boca. Uh, and it, it's taken some getting used to. I've almost recreated these plots, more specifically R2, but not exactly. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, you see how R2 transverse hardness starts out small and gets really, really big like this? And then we go over to the one where I'm using the new plotting library, and I get it big up here and then going down. <laughs> and I, it seems like I'm giving it the exact same information, but I must not be. So it sucks that I'm not getting the same answer, but also look how fast it updates now. It's at on command, which is amazing. So I want to continue using this library because it's really fast. It's really, it's doing exactly what I want as far as the speed goes, but it's not doing what I want it to do in the sense to where now I don't have accurate data. So I need to learn more about the syntax. I need to know why what I think I'm doing isn't what I'm actually doing. That's the goal for today. Reproduce R2. Let's get to it. Also, I don't know if you saw the, the error in the in the graph that I just showed you, but it also seems like it's passing some negative values into a square root in one of these functions that I defined before. So I'm going to try to debug the code by seeing what it's actually feeding into there and see what kind of information I can get out of that. So I'll let you guys know when I have an update. Okay, it's kind of funny because this is literally the next clip in the video, so no time whatsoever has gone by, but in my time, Five hours has gone by, and this is what I have now. All right, and here is the old, not very slow graph. Look how slow this updates. This is just ridiculous. It's just like frame rate. What is that? And then here is the new and improved one. What? This has definitely been one of the more boring days of coding in this internship, but it still feels nice to know that I still got what I needed to get done done. I didn't come back empty-handed when my professor said make it go faster. So that feels good. Now I need to start worrying about how to put subplots, multiple plots in here in the same uh, in the same code in this new plotting library, which I'm not sure how to do yet, and I have no idea how well it's going to support using those little sliders for this. A future me can, can worry about that. So tomorrow I'm going to spend my day trying to figure out how to put multiple plots on there that are linked to those sliding variables. But for now, I'm going to take my win. I'm happy. It took longer than I thought it would. Like I said, it took like five hours, but at least I got it done. That feels cool. Sorry if you guys aren't interested in coding. I know normally I make it abundantly clear when it's going to be more of a coding-centric video. So I'll try to make that clear in the title so that if you don't care, you don't have to click on the video. Uh, so tomorrow might be a little bit different. but. I'm probably going to cut the video here. I know it's only Monday, but do you guys have any wins that you've already had this week that just made you feel good? Let me know in the comments section, and I'll see you guys there. I've got a bad feeling about this.